They called it an act of civil disobedience. 75 members of the Culinary Union were led away in zip ties as part of planned arrests during today's rally. The union says this was not part of a strike, but one could be on its way if talks with major resorts don't move forward. Fox 5's Mike Allen was there for the rally and saw the moments when those union members were arrested up close. He joins us live now from where it happened. Mike. Yeah, to set the stage for you, thousands of culinary union workers were lining the walkway here and also a lane on both sides of this street. Las Vegas Strip were closed off so that they could have a little bit more room to protest. That's what happened a couple weeks ago down in front of the park MGM. Much bigger crowd this time around. And of course, they cheered the loudest when 75 of them went to the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard right here and sat down and got arrested. I am here today to get arrested to win a big contract. Guest room attendant Elena Newman and 74 other Culinary Union Local 226 members arrested Wednesday evening after sitting on the strip blocking traffic. This is a big effort for us to get arrested, to show to the company that we are into this. We're not joking. We are, we are ready to strike. The Culinary Union contacted police before their rally, with the union publicly planning those 75 peaceful arrests. The union also emphasized these arrests were not staged. If they don't listen to us now, our next, our next step will be to go on strike. Tasha Gursky, a banquet server at MGM, was also arrested. She tells me the goal was to send a message to MGM Caesars and win. We're serious enough to get arrested, go to jail, get a misdemeanor. This is not like a joke or a play arrest. We're actually getting arrested because this is what we believe in. Gursky told me she had never been arrested before, and I asked if she was nervous about her first time. No, absolutely not, because I firmly believe that we deserve what we're asking for. Being part of the union's negotiation team, Gursky has an inside look at how these demonstrations affect the talks. Yeah, I spent 12 hours in negotiations on Monday with MGM, and there's been movement on both sides, but not enough from their side. I'm hoping that seeing 75 people get arrested will be enough to push them over the edge and get them to meet us somewhere way closer to the middle than they're at right now. So after negotiating with MGM on Monday, the union now looks to Friday when they negotiate with Caesars, and then Monday when they go into talks again with Wynn. We reached out to those three companies, Caesars, MGM, and Wynn, for comment. We have not heard back. Reporting live from the street tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. So what is the Culinary Union looking for? It wants an average 4% wage increase for their workers on top of better benefits like improved health care and pensions. It wants a reduced workload and a daily room cleaning mandate for members in housekeeping and improved on-the-job safety across the board. Uh, they're also asking for technology protections and training to ensure existing workers aren't phased out as new tech comes in. And finally, they're demanding priority for positions they're laid off from in the event of another pandemic.